Hello my little seedlings and lovely flowers and welcome back to our cozy flower garden. Today I am back with another island tour. I know that you guys have been asking me if I can do more of them and that is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my best to find some amazing islands from other amazing creators to show everybody. So that's what I have for you today. So today we are going to be touring the island of Magnolia and the map is super cute. I really love how the little in-game spots are all over the map. I absolutely adore that and I can't wait to see what that is. Is it dirt with flowers? Is it something special? <laughs> so we have Zana, our island rep, and then we have Latte, Kiki, Shep, Freckles, Doby, Willow, Murphy, Marty, Chelsea, Kyle, and Lily. Oh, Lily's so adorable. So let's just start and see what this beautiful island is like. So I believe this is like a magical spring forest island and it's so cute. And I can tell from the petals already and the tree in the background that this is cherry blossom season. It's super adorable. We have the wedding arch here. This entrance is so cute. I love the little waterfall and the well up there. I love it. Let's have a look up here first. This is so cute. Oh my goodness, I love this with the mush log and the mush stools with the little, the little snack on top. That's super cute. That's so adorable. And the ducks up there. I really like this waterfall. The terraforming is so pretty. What's this? A shamrock soda. Don't mind me, I'm just going to pinch this because <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Did I miss this item? I am going to walk... <laughs> Sorry if I've just stolen your decor, but this is too cute for me to not hold while I walk around the island. <laughs> okay, so we'll go straight through and we have some little signs telling us where to go. This is so cute. And the resident services is pretty close to the airport. I love how the cherry blossom season looks. Oh my goodness, look, I didn't even notice this when I spawned into the dream address, but we have some presents here. Let's see what's in them. There's so many, oh my goodness. And I've just stolen the decor <laughs> to hold this drink. Don't mind me. <laughs> um, let's see. So we have some wave print socks. Gilead Brooks, a leaf, I love a good old leaf, <laughs> a sheep hood, I, which I don't need because I already have one, a lily wand, that sounds so cute, a bun wig, we have options, a sweater dress, a yellow balloon, oh no, I do love a yellow balloon though, a nightgown, how cute, I love the nightgowns, a mini pleather bag and... A pinwheel okay let's go ahead and wear the nightgown we already have the sheep hat on so we don't need another sheet sheet hat a <laughs> sheep hat and then we'll go and we'll wear the little bag as well and then I am going to continue holding this drink that I have um, stolen and <laughs> ruined the aesthetic for there's so many different directions to go where do we start okay we'll start we'll go left first this is so pretty and cozy. I love all the mush items and the pink flowers. I adore. Wow, look at this beach. I could. My beaches are so barren in comparison. This is so cute. I love this little sitting area. I love it. I love it with the little rugs. So cute. Sometimes you go to other people's islands and you just think how do they have so many design codes. I know we have a hundred now but I still feel like I have 50. And the Hello Kitty bush, I love that. Let's head back up off the beach. And we have Doby that's been wandering around since the start. <laughs> this house area is really sweet. I love this little pond and maybe it's just because I'm such a sucker for little ponds. I'm not sure if we're supposed to go this way, but this way is where I'm going. <laughs> we have another little waterfall that leads to a pond. I love this beach. I love all the shell items. It's so 
well decorated but it's so simple at the same time a little wedding dining area on the beach i love this so so cute oh my goodness look at this turtle at the picnic <laughs> cute it's just so adorable i really like the white version of that mushroom parasol and this strawberry sign i need it i need it oh look at this strawberry farm i am adamant i'm going to make a strawberry farm on my sprinkle island and it's going to be on the beach so that they don't grow and this little plant shop is super adorable as well i think i will need to zoom back to the crossroads <laughs> Is that how I call it? And then we will head a different way. Okay, so we're back at the little crossroads and we have Marty, such a sweet angel. And then up here we have, oh wow. Whoa, is this a little music stand shop? This is adorable, oh my goodness. This is so cute, so, so, so cute. And is this the same path that I'm using or is it a more grassy version of the path that I just started using? Because I kind of need it. It's adorable. I love it. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen one of these items in forever. It's so cute. There's so much colour and it really just does look amazing. A fig trail? Is that what it says? A fig trail? What's a fig trail? I don't know, but it sounds adorable. Look at this little trail! It just leads above the mountains or the cliffs. This is so cute. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever seen a trail like this before on somebody else's land. Look, you can see all the amazing decorations across the island, but I don't want to spoil too much. So that's so cute. Oh my goodness, I love how many different coloured flowers are being used, but it still feels very spring core. Normally when I see lots of colours, I think kid core, but this is definitely not the case here. <laughs> okay, and then we have another little pathway, so many little paths. It's a little train track. So cute, I love this item, never had the materials to craft it. Oh my goodness, yes, this is everything, oh my goodness, it's a little flower um, garden with some sheep, this really makes me want to just make a sheep meadow, and I think I might have to take some inspiration from this area because this is too sweet, oh my goodness, I love it so much, okay. I am so inspired by that. I need a sheep meadow. <laughs> we just have this little train track. So cute. Let us wander around to the right and see what we have over here. So this is telling us it takes us to the shops. Oh my goodness, we have a street organ. I haven't seen one of those in a while. This little painting area is so cute. Is that a KK slider? record this is so sweet it's like a little creative area you have the little clay things too there's zana oh no never mind <laughs> it's latte <laughs> every time i see a sheep herd i'm like that's the person <laughs> and this little clay area so so cute somebody is making it a loud ruckus outside so sorry if you can hear that all of the little small spaces that are decorated are just really really cute and so well done i love this little area and then up here we have the shops we have the shop on this side and then i think we had the able sisters on the left side and there's even there's zana <laughs> and then we have a little viewing platform there it just looks so cute so cute i love it so much all the terraforming is so pretty it makes me so so happy it's so good the terraforming on this island is so good it puts mine to shame i love seeing some of the same designs that i use on my island here too 
we have a little villager house here and then we have it's a festivale balloon i think that's where it came from it's one of the sanrio villagers one that i have not seen in person yet this is so so cute this little dock is adorable I feel like when I see islands like this that are just so pretty, I run out of descriptive words really quick. Um, because it's there's just no other way to describe it other than beautiful. <laughs> then we have a little terraformed peninsula here. This is adorable. I can't get over there, but it's so cute. So, so cute. It just gives me so much inspiration for my island. Oh, this is one of the new update items. It's a little fish banner. <laughs> Cute! And we have more decorated beaches. The beaches are really well decorated. I definitely need to step up my beach game for this island, so whenever I see other people's beaches, it's such a huge inspiration to me <laughs> as somebody that has terrible beach skills <laughs> and then up here we have a little post office this is so cute i love this <gasps> look up there oh my goodness it's a little oh wow that is so cute oh my gosh that's so adorable and then we have a little just the terror just I know obviously I am biased towards waterscaping but oh my goodness oh my goodness is that is the Brewster cafe <laughs> oh this is so sweet oh my goodness and then we have Zana <laughs> So cute. So this leads us back towards the train track and the other side of residence services. And then we have another villager house here. There feels like there's so much to see on this island. I'm really worried I'm going to miss something. The cliffs are just so pretty as well. I feel like I always get really repetitive when it comes to my cliffs, but this is just really, really cute. I mean, look at this. This is adorable. I love this little area so much. <laughs> Yellow just makes my heart happy. So, so happy. I've not really seen many people use the phone boxes on their islands either, and it looks really good here. And then we come up here, we have Stonehenge. And then we have a little chilling out spot and a picnic. Oh my goodness, is that a switch there? <laughs> Cute. It's just every inch is decorated with something different. It's really, it's really amazing, actually. I'm quite amazed. This is so pretty. I love a good spring island. I haven't really had much of a chance to tour many spring islands yet because I haven't found many. But this is really something else. So we have the house area up there, but we will check that out at the end when we go to look at the house. This is so cute. I love all the mushroom things. And then we have the museum up here. This is so cute. And the bookshelves behind it. That's a cool idea. Let's come back down this way. And then I think we haven't been across here yet i really love this terraforming it's so beautiful we have more picnics which i just i just love you cannot go wrong with a picnic look at this this is just the most adorable thing i've ever seen <laughs> and then we have a little tent camp and then more villager houses this little their picnic is so adorable. I love it. And there's little plushies there too. This is just so sweet. There's so much to see on this island. There's so much to see. Oh my goodness. I haven't been down there yet. I'll finish up here first. <laughs> I get too distracted. My gosh. And then we have a little... Oh, a tea shop that's so cute also i'm going to need this design code 
I think she's given us all of her design codes so that we can share them with everybody and I need that one. <laughs> it's so cute! I love it! Oh, this must be Latte's house. We'll have a quick pop in here and see what's in Latte's house. Oh, it's a little cafe! That makes so much sense with the character being called Latte. This is the cutest cafe ever. I love this! This is super adorable. This is super cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is one adorable cafe, if I do say. Returning to the island, I think down here leads back to that fig trail and this is the part that we missed so we would have hopped across there. This is so cute. Okay, we need to backtrack to where I was about to go down when I was really distracted, <laughs> which I think was down here somewhere. There we go. So down here we have this cute little, it's almost like a little date picnic. <gasps> it has to be, look there's a little ring. This is cute. This is so cute. I love it. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen these petals in ages. We've got so many mushroom items that look so, so cute. And then over here, oh my goodness, it doesn't end. We have a little moon rock garden. This is so beautiful. I am lost for words at this island. It is amazing and then we have a little graveyard oh no i am stuck i am most stuck i'm hoping we haven't or we're not going to miss anything i'm not sure if i've been everywhere it feels like there is so much to see. I feel like this is the biggest island I've ever been to. Okay, and now we've kind of circled back around, so I think that's the whole island. So let's go and check out the house area and we'll have a look in the house and if we can get there. <laughs> and we will see what it looks like. Oh no, I missed something over here. I did miss something. No, I didn't. I have been here. <laughs> so here is the house, please. So here is the little house area. It's really cute. I love the little bathtub area up there. I've been wanting to make one on my island too. This is so cute. Okay, let's go and check out the house. I don't want to cheers. I want to check out the house. <laughs> please. There we go. <laughs> This is so cute. Obviously white is my favourite colour or tone or shade, however you want to say it. And the white mixed with the green makes my eyes so happy. This is so, so pretty. I would want to live there in real life. <laughs> this is the most adorable room I have ever ever seen what oh my gosh i have never seen something like this since the game come out i'm out came out this is so cute a little camping room that is so adorable that might be the most adorable thing i've ever seen on a, in an animal crossing house and then we have the kitchen this is a really nice kitchen i really love this wallpaper at the moment and the kitchen looks so so good it's almost very antique looking and i really love that oh wow the decorations in the wall are really detailed <laughs> this bathroom is so cute i love this wallpaper so so much oh it's so pretty in here Oh my gosh, yes, this is the coziest 
foresty spring bathroom I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, this bedroom is so cute. And I know that Zana plays the drums. She's quite a musical human being. And <laughs> this is so cute. I love the little yellow rose rug. Oh, look at all the pictures on the wall. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. You've probably heard me say cute about 50 million times in this video, but this whole island has just been so pretty, so beautiful, and so cute. <laughs> and then in the last room, we have the basement, and this is really cute. It's like a little greenhouse. We have a little plant area on this side. I love some good old plants. This is so cute. It's just greenhouse heaven down here. I love it. I like the use of that clock on the wall. That's really nice too. Yes, is this a leaf shrine? <laughs> I rate that so much. I adore a good old leaf shrine. <laughs> So with that, this is the end of this island tour. I really hope I didn't miss anything because it felt like such a huge island. There was so much to see, so I'm really hoping I didn't miss anything, but each and every inch of what seemed like the biggest island I've ever visited was mwah, chef's kiss. It was so beautiful and springy and I loved it. Thank you to Zana for letting me tour your beautiful island. Don't forget to let us know in the comments below what you guys thought of this amazing island. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It would mean the absolute world to me and as always I will see you guys in the next video and until then stay sweet.